Hello, welcome back to the uh, culinary quarantine vegan show. That's that's the title for this week. Um, so anyway, today we're going to be cooking some hummus, and I believe it's going to get right to it. All right, so ingredients: we need garlic, already peeled, lemons. I have some freshly, it is, this is lined, this is just a little container I put it in because you know, it made sense because I had it around. Uh, so these were fresh cumin seeds that I toasted and ground up myself. We got tahini, and of course we got the star of hummus, chickpeas. Get in there, that. And uh, of course, the thing of canola oil. I'm not gonna use all this, not at all. <laughs> all right, so to start, we're gonna start with our garlic and we're gonna pseudo roast it, except we're gonna do it on the stove. So, got it there. Show you what I got here. So, gosh. Just find your smallest pan that you have, your smallest saucepan that you have in your house. I'm going to toast this garlic or roast it, whatever you want to say. And you want to put enough in just to cover every bit of the garlic that you have. And then we're going to go right over to the stove. How's that work? Nice. Oh, it's sliding. Oh, yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to turn it on. I'm gonna put it on hot, uh, on on high, just to begin with. Um, then I'm gonna turn it down as soon as I see that it's getting hot. We're just gonna toast these. We want these to be nice golden color. All right, let's return. So the way we're gonna make this into hummus, we're gonna bray it using a food processor. can't see that because the sun's like right in there. All right, so chickpeas. These I cooked in the Instant Pot. I highly recommend that you cook them. Uh, cook them from, from the dried chickpeas, much better taste. But if you have to use the cans, that's not too big of a deal. So I got about two cups here, a little bit more, but that's fine. And so I cook them, I'd say I'm more like, I, I overcook them. I like them to be soft and like creamy and delicious when they're going in the uh, in the process of blending up. <laughs> All right, uh, so lemon juice. We'll do the juice of two lemons. Oop, there we go. And we'll use this style. It's my favorite lemon squeezer type. There's other kinds. Anything will work. So one lemon. One half. And if you want it to be extra lemony, you can zest these right into this. But uh, I just wanted to go for traditional hummus. So all the hummus they have in stores and stuff that you could buy already pre-made, that's, um, that's good. It's good stuff. It's not really anything traditional. They all have different flavors when you go in uh, wherever in the Middle East to get your hummus. Not different flavors. But lemon is always part of it. All right. Those are. I'm not saying those. Those are bad that you, you buy in the store. It's. It's good stuff, but you know, not traditional. And I got about a half a tablespoon, three quarters of a tablespoon of my cumin. It's gonna go right in. I just want to taste the cumin. I just want to add a little subtle taste in there. I don't want to overpower it. I mean. It doesn't take that much cumin to overpower anything. I just want a little taste. And then we got tahini, of course. This is awesome. This is like a squeezable tahini that I've found at uh, Wegmans. Say, probably about a quarter 
to a third of a cup of the tahini. A little bit of salt. Great. Let's come over and see what we got here. Why don't we just switch it around? How about that? How are you guys doing anyway? Doing good? Good. No, it's not letting me switch it. Can't switch it. So here's what we got. I'll show you. Put it up in my right there. Right. So it's going well. It's going hot. It's going to turn it all the way down. Um, so the trick here is you don't want to burn it, but you want to make it nice and golden brown. I have it completely off the heat right now. So I got it feeling a little, a little too high. So you may be wondering, so what do you serve hummus with? So traditionally, if you, you're in the Middle East and you order hummus, they're going to give it to you with pita. That's just how they do it. All you do is just pita and hummus. That's, that's the dish. Um, of course, here you could do it with some vegetables, uh, you know, Celery, maybe peppers, bell peppers sliced up, uh, carrot sticks, whatever you want to do, really. And you can also use it for other things, like put it on a sandwich or on a bagel, it's pretty good. We're almost there. Yeah, baby food. My 11 month old baby loves hummus. We gave it to him uh, a couple of months ago. He actually mixed it in with his spinach, and he loved, he liked devouring it as like his favorite food. So I'm glad we had a, a, a baby that's going to grow up into a person that loves food and that has good, good taste. I mean, sure, he's my son. Alright, we're almost there. went to the store for hopefully for the last time in a long, long time. So, hey, I don't want to go back to uh, uh, the virus is supposed to peak in the next couple weeks and it's just too scary out there. I mean, I got home and it just felt gross. I don't, I'm not saying I got the disease or anything, I got the virus or anything, but it just felt like seedy and gross and I, like I couldn't wash my hands. I did everything. I wore a mask. That cool mask right here, made from a bandana. Uh, yeah, and I brought san hand sanitizer and washed my hands when I got home a couple times and after I unpacked everything. Still, I didn't feel great, but uh, yeah, so I won't go to the store. I'll try to get it delivered, I guess, if you really need anything, but we should be pretty stocked up. We are already working on stocking up our pantry before this whole thing happened, too, because we are trying to buy in bulk and we were trying to save save some money, save some packaging. So we had chickpeas, big thing chickpeas, so. We've been making a lot of hummus. So I wanna check these, this garlic here to make sure it's soft. Uh, it's gonna need a little, a little bit more. A little bit more time on that. It's very good. I like it smell. It smells delicious. I'm actually going to cut the heat completely right now because there is plenty of heat down in the pan right now, in the saucepan. Doesn't need any fire coming up anymore. There's enough to, to finish it, make it all nice and good. Alrighty. And now it is. Let's see. Let's see if we get in more of that. There we go. Hopefully I don't knock this thing over and knock it into my knock it into my uh, pot here and, and destroy everything. All right, so we're good. We're good. It's nice and golden brown, just exactly where I want it. So what are we gonna do with that? Can you see this guy here? Yeah, go in the shade there. It's a little bright right now. I'm gonna use a holy spoon. So we're gonna take all this garlic out. Right in. No oil yet. So 
So we're separating this. There's a special technique that we're going to do. I'm just going to go right here. Oh, pull the liquid in there still from chickpeas. So we're, we might need more oil than this. We're going to see how it works out. We got about one cup. Here's the technique that we're going to do. So, I'm going to tell you before I do it because it's going to be really loud in here. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pulse it a couple times. Power on. Don't forget to turn the power on your, your Ninja. This is a pretty solid food processor. It's good. It's a good, uh, it's good, it's a good value for the price. And the capability. I would have went Vitamix if I could, but they're like five hundred dollars, and we didn't get that much for our wedding that <laughs> several years ago. Anyway, so we're just gonna pulse it a couple times. Great. I'm gonna open it up real quick. Ooh. Are we okay? Okay, did you fall? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you fall. Alright. I only know I fell. Okay, so, so it's uh, starting to get mashed up. That's exactly where I want it. Let's scrape the sides down. Alright, lid's going back. Alright, so. There's a little hole in the top in your food processors. Most of them do. If they don't have that, then you get a different food processor. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start this. I'm going to do it as high as it could go. And I'm going to drizzle the oil in as I go. And you're going to watch it and you're going to see. Let me see if I can get it closer. Oh, that's good because anybody can see me. Hell, I pour it too. Let me spring it up. Cool. Yep, like I said, super professional show here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go on high. We're just gonna drizzle it in, and you're gonna see it get thin. It's gonna thin it out. It's gonna go across. Sorry for the loud noise. As you can see, it's nice and incorporated now. And let's see, let's taste it. Let's see if we need to do anything else. Hmm. Flavor's good. It's so, um, so little thick, so we're gonna do a little bit more oil. So when you get it in, when you get hummus in the Middle East, where you know where it originated, uh, it's not thick like like ours is here. It's thin, pretty thin. Probably not gonna do it that thin, but I'm gonna do it a little thinner than this. All right, so back on. Sorry for this, by the way. Here we go. Let's just get it done real quick. <laughs> Now we're at where I wanted. So that was about <laughs> that's about another cup of, of oil. And uh, let me taste. All right, perfect. That's good hummus. I just want to show you how it. See, that's the kind of texture I was going for. It's not really thin, but 
it's you can you can see that it's nice and just like that, whatever it is. Um, yeah, so hummus, great thing. When uh, I first started being vegan, hummus was a staple. I remember when I first started five years ago, um, I made hummus for like every day for, I mean, not every day, every week for uh, several months because I didn't know what else to eat. I was still trying to figure out how to do everything. So uh, yeah, so that's just a basic traditional hummus. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Sorry. Do it though. Like and subscribe so I can, uh, you know, so I know that people are liking these. Thanks. Bye.